Your mom? Is Jason here or what's his name? Get the fuck up here! Jason's not here. Now! Oh, Jason's here. 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 We're here at Oildale, right? You did this home, a remodel, right? You flip houses. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so let's just let's just get to what happened today. And uh, you know, the thing about this is that I'm all about accountability, and uh, you know, holding people accountable. Uh, we had some trash dumping today that people saw went viral, and uh, but I'm also about not destroying someone's business uh, before we know the truth. Uh, you know, not getting emotional and trying to understand what happened, and then we can make a judgment. But I want to get into it. Uh, so this morning, everybody got a video. Someone on a bike trail on one of the foothills saw trash dumped, right, from a, um, a remodel, right? And uh, it went viral, of course. People get upset with that, and that's, uh, you know, rightfully so. And the person on the bike found a receipt with your name on it, right, with your company. They did. Yes. Right? And from there, uh, a lot of people have been contacting you, and you've had a lot of stuff. So let's... Let's backtrack here. Uh, that is your trash, right? That is from it, this. It is, it is my trash. Yes. It is your trash. Is You're not trash. denying that. No. And that is your receipt, right? That was it in is. there. Yes. Okay. Is. So explain to us how your trash ended up on the foothills. On the foothills. Okay. So I just found out this morning. Um, I've been getting thousand calls all day long. In fact, my phone's ringing right now. Um, people, I've been answering my calls. I'm not gonna lie to nobody. I'm a licensed contractor here in town. I'm not hiding from no nobody. This is my business name. Uh, as a professional, uh, you can tell uh, I'm not that type of person. This is what happens. Back in February uh, 3rd, which is over a month and a half ago, uh, we were flipping this house, which is in Oildale. Um, at the end of the project, we had some trash uh, back in the garage. So this next door neighbor approached me uh, here in Oildale and he asked me if he could make some money and throw the trash away from me. And I said, might as well, you know, I, I do have dump trailers and employees, uh, people that I hire to do this job, but I thought it was cheaper, cost effective. So might as well, you know, uh, help me out and get it out of my way. That way and this get... person, just to let them know, this person is right here next door, right? It's next door and I can point to you guys right now. I'm not sure if he's going to be home. Okay. I have no idea. Maybe we'll and I don't, I don't mind talking in public in okay. front of him. I don't we'll find out maybe I, what happened. We're just that, trying to figure out how that happened. Yes, but uh, I'm a really honest person. I'm not going to throw trash all over Bakersfield. Uh, this is what I do for a living. So I'm not going to be throwing trash all over the place. Um, as you guys, a lot, a lot of people have seen my Facebook page, my business. Uh, I try to keep it really professional. Right. And that's, that's what I try and to do. And you've done stuff too outside the construction that, you know, with some law enforcement stuff too, right? Uh, absolutely. I, I, I don't want to mention it a lot here, but I do I do some work with the law enforcement. So I'm on board. And of course, as a good, as a good uh, citizen, I'm, I try to keep uh, the best, uh, you know, city for, for our kids and, and everybody else. So. Now, people will want to know too, are you going to go pick that stuff up? Are you going to make sure that stuff uh, gets picked up? Definitely. In fact, um, if I could get in contact with the person who made the video, um, we can meet him out there at the at the, uh, at the property where the trash is located at. At this point, I don't I, I don't know, I don't have the location yet. You but, don't even uh, know where the trash is. Yeah. I have no idea, but that's not our problem. We'll find out, and I'll go. My, normally, I have guys who can do the job for me, but I'll go myself with a couple guys this time. Um, we'll probably do it tomorrow if everything goes well. I gotta yeah. look through my schedule. Uh, if everything lo looks uh, good, I'll be out there tomorrow, definitely. Yeah, okay. I take full responsibility of what happens, yes. Yeah. So let's look at it right over here. So you said there was a trailer over here, right? When you, uh, the people, like, so where does the person live that actually took your stuff? Do you know where uh, they live? He lives here next door, apartment C is in Charlie. Okay, well, like, and you wanna, you wanna go you, up there? Or I'll go with you, yeah. I'll follow you, I don't know. We, no, we don't know what's gonna happen here. Okay, I mean, exactly, we don't know what's gonna happen, but I mean. We I can maybe just get to the truth, right? Maybe they don't know anything about it. So, I mean, who knows? Absolutely. I'll, I'll probably be lying. <laughs> yeah. That's this. All right. All right. I don't even know his name, but we'll okay. find out. Hopefully. Where are you Don't you wait. Wait a fucking hour and a half? Yes. Open it. Well, this is all you anybody home? Uh, Your dog? Only my mom. Your mom? Is Jason here or what's his name? 
Get the fuck up here! Yeah. Now! Okay, well, Jason's not here. Yeah, so we'll just kind of backtrack out of here. So, uh, obviously, that wasn't. Was that? So that was a little bit unexpected, right? Yes. Yeah, it's like, well, I guess uh, at least you know where the person lives, right? So you can. Uh, yeah, this is five five one seven Lincoln. Yeah. Uh, is it Avenue Street? I don't know. Carmen C.S. and Charlie. Um, I believe his name is Jason. I'm not too sure. He brought two other guys to help him out. Um, we can always come back tomorrow. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I'm just trying to clarify my name out there. Yeah. Do, you, do you think that there's a lesson to be learned out of this? Like at the end of the day, like, you, like who you decide? I mean, it's your name's on the line, right? I mean, this guy, Jason, I mean, I'm looking here on this property. This guy probably don't have a much, you know, he doesn't have anything to lose, right? But you have everything to lose. Uh, absolutely. I'm trying, trying to build, build up a business, right. you know, to work. Everybody can knows me and knows my name out there um right yeah I don't know. all right we had an update here we actually had some people showing up to the house we went over there and uh it looks like preston is the guy that you were looking for right not jason so preston yes. yeah but That's uh okay. yeah it's gonna be a little tricky tracking them down because of course they're gonna they say he doesn't live here anymore or... yeah at least you were a witness when the lady says uh yeah preston did the trash out yeah so that's i mean <laughs> I'm just trying to clarify my name. So, definitely, yeah. A big, big lesson that, yeah, we have. Lesson learned, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, there it is. Hopefully, we got enough of the truth for you. And uh, you can make your own decision from here. And, uh, you know, personally, I, I tend to believe what you're saying right here. And I think there is a lesson. I really appreciate that. Yeah. I think there is something to be learned, though, from your side as well. Absolutely. I mean, just being real here. Uh, Absolutely. And there you go, man. So, anyway, uh, thanks for the video. So, one thing I want to mention to everybody, I really apologize about any inconvenience uh you guys my my number is out there's my personal cell phone you guys yeah. can reach me anytime uh text me anytime yeah. uh i've been getting threats from a lot of people but uh, i mean i'm out here by myself yeah. see you call and me. i will say this I really too appreciate your time. we didn't call you you called us right i, I mean did. i just want to say so this isn't me pinning you down you actually called us and wanted to handle it like I, now so that is commendable right and so like that, that so anyway anyway thanks for that interview man thank you all right this is billy at Bigger, so tough.